Hey, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Pour by Blind Art Studio. My name is Lupe, and I am the art in residence. Uh, so today, I'm bringing you, bringing you a pour that is inspired by my hunger. <laughs> um, actually, well, yeah, sort of. Um, so I, so I poured a beautiful, beautiful, um, super colorful piece, uh, like, I don't know, five, six days ago. And as it dried fantastic on my, uh, lazy Debra. And what I should have done is just peeled off those, uh, colors, but, um, the skins or whatever. But I didn't. Also, if ha if I had, um, I don't do anything with them, <laughs> so it it would have just been more clutter in my art room. So, um, but I still got to see them in this beautiful um, pour. Um, so I capture them in video. So if I ever want to think of them, they they they're right there. So anyway, so I'm pouring in. Just I'm I'm inspired by. Just these beautiful colors that I mixed. I have, um, I put as many of the um, leftover uh, colors in different bottles and um, as much as they could fit in the bottles. And so now I'm just trying to use up the paints that were left in the cups. Um, I don't have any additional bottles to put the stuff in so uh like I said I'm just trying to use them up and I thought you know what let's just do something that is super vibrant and also it's around lunch time so I'm kind of hungry and so I started uh, <laughs> thinking about food and then I was thinking about um you know my favorite ultimate um all-time it's not street food because, um, well, maybe it's street food. Um, so it's more like a hut where I got the street food. And so as a child, I remember going with my mother to uh, a city in Mexico called Guadalupe, which is my namesake. Um, and... Um, no, it just happens to also be called Guadalupe. And it's called Guadalupe because one of the oldest convents um, in uh, North America was established there in 1512. And it still um, stands there. And so um, every so often, um, depending on what's happening, um, you know, people will make promises to Our Lady of Guadalupe and to visit her and so anyway so yeah so this time we visited her and in that city or town it's a city i mean it's a huge city now but it was i guess more of a town back then no it's just it was a steel city because it was pretty big um anyhow so yeah um so when we were there my mom needed monies or whatever so she had to go to the bank and so i went with her um, uh, and so as we passed this little hut, we couldn't stop obviously because mom was in a hurry, um, to do what she needed to do. But then on our way back, um, we passed by the little hut that was selling the delicious chorizo sandwiches or torta de chorizo. And so I asked my mom to let me uh, get one, and she did. Uh, I, was, I was a scrawny little kid, so, you know, it was okay for me to eat stuff like that. Back then. <laughs> it's not anymore, but but it was back then. Um, yeah, I was super thin. Um, I'm going to see if I can find a picture, and I'll show you in, a, in, another, um, in another video. Um, but, yeah. And, um, yeah, anyhow, so she, she, she allowed me to, uh, get a sandwich and it was the most delicious torta de chorizo that I have ever tasted. It was probably because I was super hungry, but, um, 
still it's that taste stayed with me and then uh, yeah so so right now that I'm thinking about food thinking about you know and then and I saw these vibrant colors and I I was like oh this is my torta de chorizo pour <laughs> yeah I know um but it's just so beautiful too I mean taking away the fact that I was thinking about you know greasy foods and stuff like that um this is a stunning piece um not just because I'm the one who did it, so I'm admiring my own work. No, I, it's just the colors are so beautiful. And so it's more like an ode to these beautiful colors um, than it is to like the poor or anything like that. Although the poor achieve these gradients that are fantastic. And then just the movement, depending on how you um, hang this piece, then you're going to get different different looks on that. Uh, I mean, it gives it giving me like, you know, those colorful dresses that the folklorical dancers wear. It's giving me like, you know, I don't know, Carnival in uh, Brazil, in Rio. Someday I will visit Rio. Um, but yeah, so this are the wet piece like I'm showing you like pictures of the wet piece and then let me see if I can take you in for a closer closer look of this fantastic um piece. I'm still hungry. <laughs> um it's like I said it's lunch time. But I'm not gonna have a torta de chorizo, but I can still dream, right? Even my pride uh, pour uh, that I did, I didn't achieve these beautiful colors. Okay, so I'm going to take you for a close-up of this beautiful piece. And this, um, when I was pouring, I was thinking about las tortas de chorizo, which are like sandwiches made of chorizo. And um, some people call them lonches but I think of them as tortas, tortas de chorizo. And so like the best, best, super most awesome uh, torta de chorizo used to be in front of the um, old farmer's market type place in Guadalupe, Zacatecas, which is in Mexico. I used to love those tortas, even as a child, I'd remember when my mom would go to the, like the bank and stuff like that, um, I would go with her and um, on our way back, going up the hill, um, I mean, I, I remember really um, like very small details about that time, but I remember those tortas, they were so super delicious. And lo and behold, um, I don't know, like five years ago or so, I went um, again with my mom and again, we were going to the bank. And um, so we walked down the hill and um, she did her business or whatever. And then I smelled those delicious tortas. And um, I asked mom about them and she took me to where they were and they were still super delicious. And I had a pineapple jarrito with my torta that had aguacate, it had um, jalapenos, it had onion, and it was super delicious. So yeah, so I'm calling this one torta de chorizo because that's what I was thinking about when I was pouring it. My mouth is watering, literally watering right now. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, so I hope you like it. It's super colorful. And again, I'm still taking advantage of those beautiful paints that I did uh, mix for the Cinco de Mayo pour. So maybe I'm still on that kind of kick. So, um, all right, well, I hope you like it. And now let's take you in for a close up of the dry piece. Wow. So, um, 
now let's uh, take a look at this dry piece. And the colors are still outstanding. It, they're just so beautiful. Um, still the blending is fantastic. Now, um, this is, look, yeah, wow. Okay, so this is a close-up of torta de chorizo, um, which is a, like a sandwich made of chorizo. And so this is close-up of the dry, the dry piece. So let's see if I can get you in. Um, let me first show you the overall composition and how it dried. And then now let me show you or go in close so you can see the details. So let's see. So I love um I love it when um it looks like transparent, like one color is over the other and you can see what's underneath. So I'm loving this, obviously. So, just the colors are like intense, intense colors. It uh, super vibrant. Um, colors are super different. And I don't think there's any muddy places. There is this one, uh, this area that dried. Kind of weird, but overall, it's pretty stunning. Everything else is so beautiful. And um, so I hope you like it as well. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. Trying to reach 100, 100, uh, subscribers um because i'm trying to grow my channel <laughs> um so i appreciate your support and i will welcome you again in the next board thank you so much